Hello. Today we're going to talk about calendars in the advanced planning solution from OpenCenter. When working with advanced planning, one of the fundamental roles to have a correct planning of our MPS, our master production schedule, is the correct configuration of the calendars. Now let's browse to a standard advanced planning template model. Now let's open the planner. Calendar is defining your actual capacity planning, whether by units, weight, or another measure that suits your products. To configure the calendars, we first need to create a template or edit an existing template. All of this is done inside the planner. Now let's go to the menu view, calendars, planning resources, and click on new template. Let's create a template called holidays. In this window, set the template duration. Normally, a weekly pattern is defined, so let's put seven days as the duration on this field length and click here. The template start is usually set as a Monday or Sunday, which will cause the pattern to repeat correctly during the weeks. Let's select a Monday. Last but not least, Determine the daily capacity within the days where there is production and set to zero the days where there is no capacity. In this case, this the five starting days of the week will have eight hour capacity per day and the last two days of the week will have zero capacity. Then let's save the template. So apply to resources, let's go back to view, calendars, planning resource and select resources. It will open the list of all the planning resources that we have. Let's select, select the, this first one. On the gray bar, let's edit with a double click and let's select our, our new template holidays. We don't need to set a start time and end time, this means that this whole template will be used during all the days of the plan. And let's save it. When working with patterns, we can have just one default template per time, but using the start time and end time, we can use more than one template. But what happens when we have an exception? It's also possible to create exception clicking on the calendar. Let's select custom values and let's select a duration. Let's say from this Monday to this Sunday. Let's pretend this planning resource will have maintenance so the new capacity will be zero. You can see that the gray bar is the default template and the blue bar is now our exception. This will overwrite the default. And let's save it. Now let's talk about planning resources groups. It is also possible to determine a template with a restricted capacity and link it to the groups the same way that we done with the planning resource. So let's go back again our menu view, calendars, and now let's select planning resource groups and create a new template. And let's create a factory capacity. Let's again select a Monday and let's select seven days. And then we'll say that for the whole factory, we have a capacity of 16 hours per day for the whole seven days and save it. The planning resource group's capacity will also restrict the capacity of the planning resource included in it, acting as a secondary constraint. The sum of the capacity used by the planning resource can never be greater than the capacity of this group. So if we run two planning resources with eight hours per day, we can't have a third one running. And the last calendars feature is the items calendars.
For planning items, it is also possible to determine which days they can be produced and which days they can be sold when they will have demand considering the planning. So if we select resources, it will show a list of the items. If we double click one, we can define another kind of template. So these are saying that all days this product can be sell and produced on this factory. And if we change that template, we can define a behavior where some items can only have demand in specific days and can only be produced in specific days or the end or start of a month. So if we define these three features here, the planning resource group, the planning resource, and the items calendars. Now the open center model is ready to run a plan with its capacity constraint correctly. Thanks for watching.